my name is Cassie. Nicole. And Debbie is here, but she is behind the camera. Hey. We are going to be making boba. We're doing three types of tea today. We're doing Thai, thai tea, tea, brown sugar milk, and jasmine. Throughout this episode, we will also be answering some questions. First question. Top five movies. Perks of being a wallflower. We're filled with Luke Herring. Avengers. End game, and then Captain America, and then move on. Um, top five would be Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, mm -hmm. Stardust, Pride and Prejudice, with Keira Knightley, directed by Joe Wright, oh. Atonement, and Singing in the Rain. La La Land, The Conjuring, Silence of the Lambs was really good. I really liked Marriage Story. I feel like that would definitely be on my top. Yeah, that's all I have for now. I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> want to be when you grew up? Oh, um, I always wanted to be a writer. Now, <laughs> I am, well, I'm not a professional screenwriter, but I'm an aspiring screenwriter. So, pretty much got there. Thought I wanted to be a novelist, but that takes way too much patience and time to like, write like 400 pages. And I hate writing like scene descriptions, so screenwriting worked out. I wanted to be a vet. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm a music and psych major, not a vet. I wanted to be a vet because I really liked animals and I thought it was it'd be really fun to just like hang out with animals all day. I like read these books called The Animal Arc. There's, like all these books about this vet person. <laughs> no, like, or the daughter of a vet who like went around and like did vet things. Oh, and I also thought that I had to join the army <laughs> because in order to be a vet, like a veteran. So I was like, oh yeah, I have to join the army to be a vet. <laughs> Um, and it'll be great, and I can just hate on the animal. What did you want to be when you grew up in? A firefighter. They were cool. <laughs> they fought fires. I wanted to be... Well, I didn't really know that wizards weren't a real thing. So I kind of wanted to be a wizard as like a That's career. Uh, but the closest thing to that would be a firefighter. It's not like <laughs> stopping fire. One tea bag. Second tea bag. What does this like come in and out to get all the... Oh! Like four teaspoons ish to our tight tea. Now we're gonna put four teaspoons of condensed milk and the Thai tea. We'll add four teaspoons of the evaporated milk. Question time, part three. You gotta eat one thing for the rest of your life, but what would it be and why? <laughs> Okay, if it's like a one thing and it has like different varieties, does that mm -hmm. count? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> and I'll go with quiche. You get your eggs. I don't actually like it, but I like quiche. I like the crust, and you can like add or if you want, like different meats or vegetables. You can add lots of cheese. I love cheese. I would say for me is <laughs> salad, because I really love Caesar salad. <laughs> like so much. Like you're not even I'm not even saying that because I'm healthy or whatever. I'm really not. We're literally making boba. <laughs> Game of Thrones, Vikings, Mad Men, uh, Westworld, The Office, sure. Oh, the Office! Right. <laughs> Kim's Convenience, Stranger Things, The Office, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> I was trying to watch it, it's so funny. iCarly. Yeah. How I Met Your Mother, Stranger Things, Glee. Controversial <laughs> 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 opinion. Amazing. Victorious, also uh, amazing. amazing. <laughs> um, Drake and Josh. Amazing mm -hmm. also. And any of the classic, like, Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh, yeah. Like, yes! Would be Sixth grade. During lunch, I accidentally stepped in dog poo and I didn't realize it. 
Um, and so lunch ended and I went to my oh. next class and I tracked with Pooh all the way through my middle school, up the stairs, the second floor, uh, into my classroom, and I didn't notice until um, a boy pointed it out. I can't really think of embarrassing moments <laughs> because I think it's a defense mechanism to block it out. So anything embarrassing is just doesn't exist. So my most embarrassing moment is when I was a freshman in college, I went to this Christian conference called 71 Conference, which is like a conference where we talk about like multi-ethnicity in the church. So I was like, okay, chill in. It was like my first kind of conference dealio that was like with other people who <laughs> like, were like older than me and stuff, but I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So what happened was that the night before I had gone home um, and my dog sleeps in my room. And so I, like my dog was sleeping in my room, it was chilling and I put like my outfit on the floor for like what I was gonna wear the next day. Um, so the next day I get up, I change, we get to the church where the conference is being held. Um, and I'm like walking up the stairs. And my friend Alana, she's behind me, she goes, oh, I like your pants, are those holes supposed to be there? And I was like, holes? And so I, like, I turn around to look and it turns out my dog had chewed a big hole in my shorts at the seat of my pants and I didn't notice it when I was putting on my shorts. And so I was walking into this church building with the holes in my pants. So I ended up having to call my dad to ask him to go to like somewhere to get me pants. And so my dad went to CVS and bought me some pants. Choose one person, living or dead, to be your time travel buddy. What time and place? you want to go to? I want to go to like Shakespearean England mm -hmm. so I can like mm -hmm. see Shakespeare and do his plays and all that stuff and befriend him there. Like, I'd love to be friends with Jane Austen but I don't know how like the whole Regency era like primness thing would do with like the grim muck <laughs> of like Shakespeare. Oscar Wilde would be fun. If you don't know Oscar Wilde or like the picture of Dorian Gray and the playwright would be funny and stuff. Otherwise I'd bring my friend from high school Jade. We all took um Shakespeare every year together. Probably like Barack Obama. Kristen Bell. And I feel like she would, she and I would get along pretty well. I'd want to go to the future. I just like want to see what's up with Kristen Bell. Mm -hmm. Like past the time that I would live. So maybe like a hundred years, mm -hmm. just so I can like mm -hmm. see the country's doing. Do we fix the global warming? Did Jesus come back? <laughs> Hi, can you your future thing? I would take the Jonas Brothers to the year oh, 3000. <laughs> I feel like the other option is to go all the way back and meet Jesus. Oh, okay, I'll hold the contest. Like, who can bribe me the best? <laughs> and we'll go see Jesus. <laughs> what is your faith thing about God? I like that God's like always there. Yeah, whenever you want to <laughs> talk to him, he's there. Super chill. You can be like your dad and your therapist and your best friend. That's what it is. It's God the therapist. God the, <laughs> God the best friend and God the father. Three to one, baby. I was thinking about this, actually. Because when I went up to the Bay Area, it was just a lot of nature. I really like that God is like really big. Like he's so much bigger than the mountains and the trees and the sky and the sun. Mm -hmm. I really love being in nature where I feel like extra small mm -hmm. because no matter how big whatever I'm seeing is, God is bigger. My favorite thing about God is his sense of humor. Mm -hmm. I think he's like the funniest thing <laughs> ever. But like the way things work out sometimes, I'm just like, sometimes I'm like, God, you you're funny. Or maybe like even along that lines, like how he like works things out to where even though it seems like it's weird or crazy or like like scary, it's it's not. Like God is there and he like changes it and he makes it good and funny and enjoyable even. Top five musical artists. Well, according to my Spotify rap. <laughs> so I would say sleeping at last, John Williams. I love the word of Pasek and Paul, who did like La La Land and Dog Bite. Mm -hmm. Panic and the Disco. <laughs> if we're going according to, to Spotify rap, so my top five would be all three branches of Hillsong. <laughs> Bethel, and then Isla Vista. <laughs> and Upper Room. I don't know, when I think of musical artists, I feel like I think of just like indie-ish kind of music. Mm. Bad Sons. Coin. Mm. The Lumineers. Mm -hmm. Vance Joy. Rex Orange County. Now I went to Kentucky. Everyone I knew asked me if I knew who Rex Orange County was. And I was from Orange County. I was like, I literally have no idea. <laughs> I don't, but I listen to them. They're very good. Top five. The Beatles. Sage the Elephant. Matt Mason. Oh my gosh. Barnes Courtney. I don't know how you say his name. Ramin Jawai. He like composes for Game of Thrones and Westworld. Dun, dun, dun. Earliest childhood memory. I was a devil child when I was younger. In kindergarten, I would get sent to the principal's office so much. We were like at recess and we were playing and everything. And then like the little supervisor lady that it was like time to clean up and everything. And we were like, okay. 
And so I was in the sandbox and I was like cleaning up my stuff and I wanted to like pick up the shovel and this girl, Lily, she took the shovel when I wanted to take up the shovel. And so I was like, dude, like give me back my shovel. I, like I wanted to, you know, put it away. And she was like, no, it's okay. It's like, I want the shovel. And so the supervisor came over and she was like, it's okay, let Lily take the shovel here. You can have this bucket. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm content with my bucket because it's bigger than the shovel. And so we were walking back into the building and as we we're walking, she's in front of me with her freaking shovel and I'm behind her with like my bucket. Mm -hmm. And I'm slinging my bucket like, la la, I have a good time. I have a bucket and it's great. And I smack her in the back of the head. And then I was like, oh my gosh. Because she started crying and the supervisor was like, Cassie! And I was like, ah! And so basically I got in trouble because they accidentally hit her on the back of the head. But she thought I did it on purpose. And I got sent to the principal's office for the third time <laughs> that year. <laughs> I was on a plane to Vietnam and I was sleeping like on the floor. <laughs> like under my parents' feet because it was bigger than like the seat. I just remember like opening my eyes and like, yeah, I'm on a plane. And then anything after that was like the ages of four and up. So oh. I was probably like three-ish. Well, like first like actual cohesive memory was like probably when I was around for preschool. I was like best friends with this boy named Sean, which also happens to be my brother's name, but it was different Sean. <laughs> different Sean. <laughs> different Sean. <laughs> and we would like hang out under like the playground set. And I thought we were really cool because we did that. I had a red or like pink heart that I've been like painted on from some bear on like on my hand or something and he asked if it was a tattoo and I told him no. Envision your ideal death slash funeral slash gravestone. How does it happen? What goes on? And what does it say? I got hit in the back of the head with a bucket. <laughs> That's my death. <laughs> my ideal death. Probably like quick. I want to die laughing. Because then it's like, it's not really a death, it's like a, I'm like, haha, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be surprised. I saw this thing on Pinterest where there there was like a gravestone with like, like a, like a sandbox on it. I oh. feel like that would be kind of cute. I don't know what it's a funeral. There just has to be good food and music. So my ideal death is I just like pass away in my sleep of like old mm -hmm. age. Ideal funeral? Okay. If like my future husband and my brother are still living, I want them to reenact um, the scene in Hamlet where <laughs> Laertes and Hamlet fight over Ophelia's dead body that he like, loves her more. Wow. Um, so I don't think I could actually convince my brother to do that. But, um, and then Gravestone probably has some Shakespeare quote on it. Ideal death would be from partying too hard. So like, we just had a good night in my 90s. I with the girls. <laughs> and then they just got so tired and then went to bed, didn't wake up. You know, very chill, party too hard. The That's funeral so would just be so extra. <laughs> The fun. And the funeral. <laughs> I would be dressed very well. Open casket, of course. <laughs> There'd be lots of food. We we go hard for catering. Gravestone would definitely say the cause of death because I think that's iconic. <laughs> party party too, too hard. <laughs> I feel like it would say something like, she was cool, I guess. But like, <laughs> I guess it'd just be IG. That was the death of this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> like and subscribe. Share. Okay, bye. <laughs>